most of the more recent motherboards come with a flashback feature. Gigabyte calls theirs QFlash. Today I'm going to show you how to use this feature in easy to follow steps. You can try utilizing the QFlash Plus feature on your Gigabyte motherboard if your computer won't boot up or if you can't update the BIOS on your computer using other techniques. This method is also perfect for brand new motherboards if you're planning on a new build. However, it is not necessary. But if you want your MOBO to have the most recent BIOS upon booting up for the first time, flashing the BIOS would be the first thing to do. Before we move forward, first, these are the things you will need. Your motherboard, of course. Make sure your board has the QFlash feature. PSU for powering up your motherboard. USB flash drive. 32 GB or less. And of course the latest BIOS, or the BIOS version you want. Now let's proceed. Step 1. On a working computer, format the USB flash drive to FAT32. Right-click on the correct drive and click Format. Choose FAT32. Click Start. Click OK. Click OK. Close. Step 2. Download the BIOS file. Go to Gigabyte's website and look for your motherboard. Make sure it is the correct model and the correct version, if any. Go to the Support page and click on BIOS. Here, you will see the different iterations and updates of the BIOS. Select the one you need and click Download. I will select the most recent one. Usually it is the one on top of the list. It is best to download the file directly to your USB. Once the download is complete, right-click on the zip file and select Extract here. Select all except the BIOS file. Right click and rename the file to gigabyte dot bin. Step 3. Connect the motherboard to the PSU. Connect the 24-pin cable and the power cable. Turn the PSU power on. It is important not to turn on the power of the motherboard. Otherwise the motherboard will boot using the current BIOS and the BIOS flashing will fail. Step 4. Insert the USB flash drive into the USB slot marked BIOS on the rear aisle. Step 5. Start flashing. Press the Q flash button for about 3 seconds. Sometimes it is located on the rear I.O. shield and sometimes it is on the inside of the board itself. Release the button and wait for the update to complete. The update progress is indicated by the blinking of the LED light. It takes about 3 to 4 minutes. Leave it alone during this time. When it's done, the LED light will automatically turn off and you might hear a click.
Pro Tip. While Flashback BIOS update is pretty straightforward, it is imperative that the process must not be halted midway. It is recommended to connect to a UPS to avoid electrical current fluctuation or interruption. There you go! BIOS flashing is complete. Turn the PSU power off and disconnect all cables. Enjoy your motherboard with the newly updated BIOS. Cheers!